What's up guys, I'm very excited to show you my latest Pickle Mini build here. This is a 2S uh, 1103 8000 KV uh, little monster that I've built here. This thing weighs 59 grams all up weight with the 300 milliamp 2S battery. Guys, this thing is literally lighter than a GoPro. Like, think about that. This, this is, look at the footage you're getting from this thing. This, look how smooth this is. I just, I'm baffled, honestly. I'm really baffled as to how this thing flies so good. Now, I'm not pushing it here, guys. This is really just cruising around, but I'm just showing you just how smooth and controllable this thing is. One of the reasons for me going to 2S was because 1S builds that I was doing before, yeah, they fly great, but they don't handle the wind very well. And if you fly out far and then it starts to get windy, it starts to shake. And it just doesn't feel as enjoyable when you have, like, shaky video. Um, because 1S doesn't have that much authority over the motors, it's not able to really just, you know, catch all of that um, instability with the air. 2S is a different story. Look at this, guys. This is just so smooth. I just, honestly, I wish I could translate to you how it feels to fly this thing. So if you're thinking of... Uh, building your own toothpick, I suggest going with 1103 uh, 8000 KV on 2S. And I use this battery. This is a really crappy battery, guys. This is like 10C. <laughs> it says it's like 60 or 80 or something, but this feels like a 10C battery. But because this is so efficient and light, you don't feel the sag as much. The throttle feels extremely linear. Look how much control I have. I can fly so low to the ground and I feel like I have not really crashed. I've flown like probably 20 more packs just in one day today through this and I haven't crashed once because I feel like I just know exactly where it's going and what is going on. It's it's amazing. I just can't really describe. I just really want to share this with you. Um, so I've tried the Avon props. Uh, these fly absolutely fantastic. The reason why I'm not using them is because uh, they actually draw more amps. They are more powerful, but they draw more amps. So I feel that these HQ 65 millimeter props are just the most, um, they're just in a very stable zone where you don't get that much punch, but it's okay. And you can fly with more flight time and it just feels like, uh, I don't know. I've been flying for a while, guys. And it's just now I begin to realize where efficiency really lies in these things because all of my builds before were overpowered and you feel that when you hit the top of the throttle and you kind of lose resolution and you know when you punch and your drone is like doing this at the top of the throttle is because beta flight has no more authority over the motor on the top high at uh, the top end so it's it's very has very slight control and it just starts to wobble but this when you punch it it just holds rock solid i don't get that feeling when i fly 3s i think 2s is a very like perfect zone for these drones i've been saying this for a while because 3s is more weight and the 3s batteries do not fly as long 2s actually has longer flight time i have a, a 3s um 200 uh 3s 300 milliamp and i don't get i get like a minute something sometime before the battery really decides to cry out and the performance that you gain from 3s is not that much it really isn't so guys, just so you know, if you're looking to build one of these, try this. And, you know, maybe you're used to having a really powerful drone that can just see... Maybe you like to just cane your throttle, then if that's the case, go go ahead and do your 3S. But for me, just to feel efficiency and feel how well this flies and just like... These motors are handling these props perfectly. It's like just perfect because the, the 1102s... That you can feel that they're a bit struggling. I mean, maybe I don't have the right KV because I have the 10,000 KV. And when I put twist on that, you feel like it's a little bit much. And I think that's probably what it is. But whatever it is, guys, I was apprehensive to go to 1103 because I thought that that's going to be too heavy. This is perfect. Another thing I want to mention is that these two are pretty much the same. This is the new Happy Model 1103 8,000 KV. This is the Beta FPV 8,000 KV. They fly very similar, but if I had to choose one, I would choose the Beta FPV. This one feels like it is smoother, even just turning the motor, you don't have that notchiness. This one is very notchy, I thought this would have more power, but I feel more power out of this guy, and, and it's smoother. So, I don't know, take that as you as you, as you you like, but I, I, I feel that they're still very similar. Very similar. I, I, I don't know which one I would really recommend. These are pretty good, the, the Happy Model. These are new, the, um, the 1103. EX1103, I think they call them. 
Anyway, guys, that's basically it. And I love the onboard DVR, the Happy Model, the um, that, uh, Diamond VTX. Perfect thing, guys. Change your firmware if you got the old one, and don't worry about NTSC or PAL. No matter what firmware you put on there, it switches it. it, it the firmware says NTSC PAL. Don't follow that. I put the NTSC version, five minute files, and it works perfectly. No cropping, no nothing. Anyway, guys, I just want to share that. There's so much more I wish I could just cram in here, but I'll be talking too much. So just for now, just wanted to show this footage, and I'm still tweaking these things. Um, I think that I copied the tune from this one to this one, and I feel like it. This one has a little bit of a shake. This one is just perfect. This one is just like, I cannot trip it out. It just, just you know, yeah, it's perfect. This one has a little bit of prop wash and I, I probably just need to tune it a bit more. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. And yes, I hope I could enlighten you in some way. If you plan to build one of these, do give this a try. Uh, and yes, happy flying.